Whatever. Here's here's Brett Cooper. Hold on, I've got to check something. Okay, she is there. Cool. Makes you want to go back to the gym, Scheller. <laughs> Bruh, I'm there. You are? No. Oh. I can't. I didn't run this morning. I did speed. run all this weekend, though. I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, I'll right. go to the gym tomorrow. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. for sure. If you're not, you're a liberal beta cuck. My favorite part about this is that this is such a self- Okay, wait, what? That this episode makes you want to go back to the gym, Scheller. <laughs> Bruh, I'm there. You are? No. Oh. I didn't run this morning. I did run all this weekend, though. I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, I'll go to the gym tomorrow. Oh, yeah, for sure. If you're not, you're a liberal beta cuck. My favorite part about this is that this is such a self-owned. Wow, only the fit people, the attractive, healthy people go to the gym. They're the far-right neo-Nazis. And it's like, okay, so by default, you're saying that you're all, like, weak, skinny cucks? Yeah, you are. You never leave your house. <laughs> Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. We're oh, talking man. about MSNBC today. I don't think I've talked about legacy media in a while because they kind of bore me. And I look at their articles and it just makes me angry and upset. And I find most of my content on social media rather than on sites like this. But I was scrolling on Twitter like I usually do. And I saw an article that looked very, very familiar because last year, MSNBC published an absurd article. They got ratioed so hard. Nothing happened with it. But then they decided to try it yet again and publish the exact same article with basically the exact same graphics and caption. And once again, it went terribly. So today we are talking about that. But before we get into that, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. I just have to say thank you all for sticking with me last week. We had some heavier and creepier and weirder subjects at the end of last week. These subjects today are at least a little funnier and a little lighter. It's a palate cleanser before we get into the week because I already have some stuff planned that is not as pleasant. So prepare yourself for that, but thank you all for being here. Our subs Oof. have been off the charts recently. The views have been crazy. So thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch the show and hang out with us. Alrighty, now getting back into this. On a random day in February, MSNBC decided to try their luck once again to test the waters on Twitter and they posted this. They said God, the far so right's loud. obsession with fitness is going digital. Opinion, yeah, what the far is. right is really into home fitness. Here we freaking go. I don't understand how that's exclusively a right or left thing. How has that become political? How? I, that doesn't make know. any goddamn sense to me. Like, like... Hold on. I have to, like... You know what? Fuck it. Haha, <laughs> fuck you guys. Oh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, on. once again, like I said, this is the exact same article. When you click into it, you can see it is from March of 2022. They changed nothing. They were like, mm, the culture's changed. Let's try this again. No, it has not. People still think you're moronic. The full headline reads, mm, pandemic fitness trends have gone extreme. Literally. White supremacists' latest scheme to valorize violence and hyper-masculinity has gone digital. Uh-oh, spadoodios. Somebody commented and said, bold of you to call leftists fat and weak. Now, we're about to get into the article. The <laughs> part of this entire thing is that this is literally a self-owned. You are so angry at people on the right allegedly being more fit and being more into fitness. So you're acknowledging that you are weak beta cucks, that you do not leave your house, that you are still so scared of COVID and the things in the world that you do not go outside and see sunlight Jesus and touch grass and maybe lift some heavy things. But you know what? They're kind of okay with that. They're probably okay with not going to the gym. It's fine. Somebody else commented and said, so I should be going to the gym to meet new friends. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, for all of you people who ask how you can meet like-minded friends, apparently it's at the gym because it's a bunch of far-right, alt-right people. Guess they've earned each other's respect. The muscles did the talking for them. Anyway, let's get into this. Let's read some <laughs> it of was it. It, the full metal alchemist, so right off the bat, dudes. They say, earlier this month, researchers mm -hmm. reported that a network of online fascist fitness group chats on the encrypted platform Telegram are recruiting and radicalizing young men with neo-Nazi and white supremacist extremist ideologies. Initially lured with health tips and strategies what? for positive physical changes, new recruits are later invited to closed group chats where far-right content is shared. Oh my god. So people join group chats and then find friends and like-minded people and then they go and they talk in other group chats? Oh my god. <laughs> This is insane. I'm immediately thinking of Ian Smith. Do you guys remember him from New Jersey? He was the gym owner that kept his gym open all throughout COVID. And he's kind of become this like beacon of masculinity for a lot of young men and for women too. I mean, he's incredibly empowering. He takes no shit. He's awesome. I immediately thought of him because he has a big Instagram page now. And I'm sure that they looked at him and were like, you, you far right, insane person trying to radicalize young men with fitness in your gym. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Anyway, the article goes on and says physical fitness has always been central to the right. In Mein Kampf, Hitler fixated on boxing and jujitsu, believing that they could help him create an army of millions whose aggressive spirit and impeccably trained bodies combined with a fanatical love of the fatherland would do more for the German nation than any mediocre tactical weapons training. That escalated quickly why are that you yeah wow <laughs> that escalated oh super People quickly are chats are talking about mein Kampf? you are so deranged you are grasping at straws trying to make a ridiculous point because you hate the other political side grow up are you and to, to like rationalize right to yourself while you're so unhealthy boxing gyms in ukraine canada and france mm. among other places and focused on training far-right nationalists in violent hand-to-hand -hand combat and street fighting techniques the u.s is comparatively far behind which will only become more and more problematic especially since the phenomenon is growing in the country building on the established fight club culture of mma far-right extremists this is Pause so idiotic. Quick, the intersection of extremism room. and fitness leans into a shared obsession with the male body, yes, training okay. masculinity, testosterone, okay. strength, and competition. That shared Oof. obsession is literally just being... Okay. Ha! Saved it. Fuck yeah. Can you get me that cart that's back there on my side of the bed? Hey. Fuck. I almost yanked it out the wall because I... 
plugged in lucky I realized last second. <laughs> Hooray. I'm me. Okay. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I kind of thought that was going to happen. Shit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Aw. Save I'm going to gather my paints real quick so then I can start on my Pokemon cards while we stream. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, nice okay? shot. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's, a, that's okay. 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 I'm just picking up around me a little bit. Okay. It's been a mess. A mess. A gigantic -o mess. Gigantic -o mess. -o. Just a bit. Just a Fuck. Bit. I hit the wrong angle. You hit the wrong angle? I hit the wrong angle. Oh. That makes more sense. <gasps> Bonk. <sighs> ah! No! Okay. Trash, trash, trash. <clears throat> no! I'm an idiot. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Thank you, my dude. Thank you, bro. Broski with the save. Uh... Okay. Aha. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, Napoleon. Ah. Pff. Poops. Why didn't they flip? <laughs> Why didn't they flip? I flipped to the wrong spot. Do you want me to play the video? Is that what, is that what you're waiting on me? I don't like... Bow wants out. Ooh. Raw shit. Nice shot. No problem. Come on. Yeah. He hates you. I know. <laughs> it's okay. It's... It's okay. I guess she's waiting on me. Or I'm waiting on her. Am I waiting on you? What am I waiting on? I I need a, a shot at a goal. Hey, hey, bro, hey, brother. Let's <laughs> Oh. Damn it. Okay. Fucking I'm, asshole. I'm all set. Fuck you, there are four seconds left. We're not fucking conceding. It's called forfeiting. What the, what the fuck is this? Playing the video. A man, have you ever been into a locker room? There is nothing wrong with that. That is how they are biologically designed. And you're saying that that is some right wing phenomena that we are Wait, instigating by getting men to go to the gym and get fit? You've got to be kidding me. Physical fitness training, especially in combat sports, appeals to the far right for many reasons. Fighters are That's so fucking stupid. To be warriors and to embrace messaging around solidarity, <laughs> heroism, and brotherhood. Why is that wrong? It is laughable. Brotherhood is apparently now a far right thing, heroism. So you want everybody to be alone, sad, lazy little boys hiding in their parents' basements, cannot lift a damn thing. That is apparently what you want men to be. How have you now decided that brotherhood and heroism is inherently alt right and bad? The mental gymnastics these people have to go through. I talk about this all the time. It's insane. It's honestly impressive because I don't know how they come up with this stuff. They pull it out of their ass in a very weird way. We're going on. It's championed as a tool to help fight the coming race war. What? 
No, it's not. In the street battles that will precede it. it. Literally, no. Who is saying that? If anybody is thinking about fighting on the street, it's probably to defend a woman that they're walking with. To be totally honest, <laughs> recruits are encouraged to link wow, individual moral at... virtues <laughs> such as willpower, decisiveness, and courage. Again, is that so bad? Brotherhood, solidarity, heroism, courage, and decisiveness and willpower are apparently all terrible. If you are a man that has those qualities, you are on the alt right and you are dangerous. I'm done. This is just absurd. They're now they go into like talking about neo-Nazi bloggers, talking about fat people, and they get into fat phobia. It's so stupid. And then at the end, they warn parents about protecting their kids from alt right fitness groomers. Like that's not the kind of grooming I think parents need to be worried about right now. Like on the other side of the aisle, if you are worried about people finding out that you are radicalizing young men at the gym, you need Express Eat the end to protect you. Because what if I told you that there was somebody out there who kept a log of every single thing that you uh, did at the gym? Every <laughs> that you about your workout. Like we can all agree, like freaking creepy. But what if I told you that that is exactly what happens every single time you go online? Internet providers, like PCT or Horizon, are allowed to store logs of every website you have ever visited, and then they stitch together detailed profiles which include your browsing history, online searches, and location data. God damn it! I didn't even realize she was doing a fucking blog. Express Eat the end reroutes your internet connection to your server so your internet provider cannot see or log what you do online. I was laughing at that I own gold. Like I entered a casual match and own gold immediately. Of the screen, it is so easy. So stop letting people keep logs of what you do online or at the gym. And visit expressvpn.com slash oh, cooper. That is expressvpn.com slash cooper, and you will get three extra months free. Again, expressvpn.com slash cooper. And hopefully then we can continue radicalizing young men without the lips freaking out. Also, of course, the right without the lips freaking out. Cynthia, <laughs> Cynthia, you, mm, I have thoughts about you. You are a moron, and your writing sounds like satire. You should try comedy. The whole thing is ridiculous. It's like, what grounds are you even standing on? Throughout all of history, men have learned how to fight. Men have been taught to be fit. It is only in like the last 20 to 30 years that men have been emasculated and told that they are better off if they are tiny and weak and subservient to dominant women or a authoritarian government. This is not alt-right oh, extremism. And then her talking about Hit how MMA causes like an increase in testosterone and masculinity. Like hell yeah it does. And men need that. All exercise does this to men. Unless your man is like exclusively doing like Pilates or a bar class. But still, at least he is exercising. It is good for you. It is good for men. Somebody commented and said, I'm not far right and I exercise. I don't see the correlation here. And somebody replied and said, hmm, looking and feeling good is the first sign. Next thing you know, you'll be expecting people to be accountable for their own life actions and consequences. I hope you can make the right changes before that happens. Somebody else said, I love that this article is almost a year old now, but you still trot it out periodically on Twitter to get ratioed yet again. So you replied and said, next up, eating pizza is fascistic. I'm sure that already exists because I already say that a lot of different food is racist. Even though MSNBC has posted this article <laughs> many times now, they are not the first to have this conversation. The far right exercising nonsense has been circulating around the internet for years now. Back in 2017, a university in London did a whole study about this that caused a stir, and they determined that young men who go to the gym are more likely to be right wing. That's fucking stupid. Oh my stupid. god, oh no. The yes, it is. It's ridiculous. Men who visit the gym are often less likely to believe in socioeconomic equality, finds research. <laughs> the longer a man spent in the gym, the less they believe in the redistribution of the wealth according to the findings. <laughs> so ladies, if you are worried that your man might be too liberal, if you are worried that your sons might be too liberal, get them into the gym. <laughs> they will be fixed real quick. My favorite headline about this was from Vice. Gym bros are more likely gym, to be babe. right wing assholes. Science confirms. No time to worry about socioeconomic inequality when you've got to finish your reps, bruh. I mean, very true. <laughs> <laughs> they care more about themselves and their own health than they do about your stupid socialist BS. Like, that's not a lie. This is from the Independent. They were describing the study. They said the researchers assessed 171 men between the ages of 18 and 40, collecting information on their height, weight, waist, size, muscle circumference, hand grip, arm, and chest strength. And they also surveyed the men on how often they go to the gym, their wealth, and whether they support the redistribution of wealth, and whether they believe Apparently, some social groups should be gym, dominant over others. So they found a significant man. correlation between those men who were heavier and stronger, and the belief that some social groups should dominate others. He These left. men were also less likely to support the redistribution of the wealth, a typically left-wing principle. That's so fucking yeah, stupid. If you go to the gym, <laughs> you're base. That's not <laughs> commentary about this whole thing was too good not to share. The Independent just wasn't spicy enough for me, but then I read Vice's article, I was literally laughing out loud. Price's findings: the rich muscle dudes are the worst. Under those rock hard abs lie the rock hard souls of men who don't believe in spreading their riches around. It's basically your tolerance to the idea that wealth shouldn't be redistributed, Dr. Price explains. Some people thought it was horrible, some people thought it was fine. Fascinatingly, the longer men spent in the gym, the more likely they were to have less egalitarian socioeconomic beliefs. But is the gym turning men into entitled, unempathetic jerks? Or are they in the gym because they're Based on what? Yeah. It's a real chicken, breast, and egg white <laughs> to be sure. Quote, what you get is a positive feedback loop, Dr. Price argues. The standard conventionalism is that people are adapting their morality to their physical nature. What comes first is that you're big and strong and you find yourself in this big muscular body, and other people are intimidated by you and you have a status and tend to win. So I like inequality because inequality suits me. Or maybe it's just that you get really strong, you realize you don't have to rely on anybody else and you can protect people, and you start to embody some true masculinity. Maybe that's that. Sadly, Price doesn't want us to hate on self-involved assholes reading a copy of The Fountainhead in between reps. Quote, I'm just trying to illuminate the sources of people's moral views, he says, to help them be more reflective about it. Wow, what a waste. The poor children. This is the textbook definition of grasping at straws. I also just love that they included the fountainhead there. Young men, if you have not read the fountainhead, do yourself a favor and read it. It's by Ayn Rand. It's incredible. Read it in between reps. Do everything that Vice hates about you. You will feel so good about yourself. It's a fantastic book. More right wing men work out because they care about their health. They don't trust the government. They don't want to rely on anybody else to take care of them. They know that traditional women want strong men, so they become strong men. It's also just as simple as that. They also know that their testosterone is bolstered when they work out because that's biology, and testosterone is essential for masculinity. It really is not that big of a deal. It's not insane. This is like common sense and logic. But we're not done because I have not shown you TikToks today, and obviously I have to show you. TikToks. Oh, darn. Oh, of course she's got to show us TikToks. But have you forgotten about people on social media who you're fat mm -hmm. for working out? I haven't. Are you going to the gym so you can get a flat stomach? Or are you going to the gym so you can build a stable core and have better posture? 
Are you motivated to go to the gym so that you can lose weight? Or are you focused on increasing muscle and bone density to look super delicious? Or is it because you know strong glutes help protect your knees and your back? Wanting to work out does not make anyone fat phobic, but the motivations why you might go to the gym do. So are you going to be like the gym thought police and walk around and interview people on why they're working out so you can tell them whether they're going to or not? We understand that there are benefits to exercise. We all know that. It's science. We feel good after we work out. But most people go to the gym because they do want to look a certain way. That's not bad. I'm not done yet. Again, we have another one. This is a little angrier. There's three kind of big buckets of reasons why someone might engage in intentional weight loss. First is desirability. Second, health. Third, stigma. But at the end of the day, all of those are rooted in fat phobia in different ways. We currently live in a society <clears throat> that uplifts thinness, able-bodiedness, oh, whiteness, cisness, and heterosexuality. Have you literally looked at any advertisement in the last two years? It's not just thin people anymore. You're winning. You're taking over. You can calm down with the victimization now, lady. Man, lady. lady. And so if you are wanting to lose weight in order to become wow. desirable, <laughs> you are upholding a fat phobic beauty standard. <laughs> as well as, you know, white sperm Oh, good. So next is health. <clears throat> what we know is that weight is not a good indicator of someone's health, and also your health is not <laughs> a good indicator of your worth. It is an indicator of how healthy you are. You can choose whether to act on that or not, but it is. Just saying. You can have health and body related goals for yourself that are not about fat phobia and not about weight loss. Third bucket reason is that you might be facing extreme fat phobia and anti-fat bias in your own life and you have personally mentally hit a wall where you can't deal with it anymore and so you decide to intentionally lose weight. But it's really important that if you still go through with intentional weight loss that you don't sacrifice fat liberation politics because otherwise- Fat liberation politics, oh my god. <laughs> fat liberation politics. Fat liberation that politics. stupid articles? That sounds, sounds like a comedy rap group. group. Right uh, this is my favorite compilation. It does sound like a comedy rap group. Those are just two examples, but I like this edit because I think it really shows how I feel at the end of the day about this. Oof. Oof. God. I hate to tell you this, but actively not wanting to be fat is indeed fat phobic. Do push ups. Uh, can you guys. <laughs> I don't care about that flannel. Like, I hope men. I don't have a smock right now, so I asked Jacob if he could grab me my flannel because I don't want to get my Hello Kitty I mean, I shirt because it's dirty because it's a sponsor that's that no longer going on anymore. We reached the right people. It took almost 19 years, but my mom finally made me care about my clothes. It is easier to control and indoctrinate people who are unhealthy. Whether that is, you know, emotionally, mentally, or physically, whether they are fat or they are the size and have the stamina. I don't really care about the oversized flannel from my dad. It's nice, but I don't care about it much. Leaving your room. No wonder they hate it so much. And like, oh, that's grandiose scale. You working out and being strong and being happy makes the unhealthy, sad, lazy people feel worse about themselves, which is why they turn themselves into victims and shame you for making them feel bad. Hold on just a second. I'm going to go change in the bathroom, okay? And rooted in a desire for attention. Which they get by making themselves into victims. Jacob so offered me a throwaway shirt. They can't get control of their weight. That they can't get the motivation to get up and go to the gym, meal prep, or do whatever they want. So instead, they villainize you. I don't know why this is one of the hills they have decided to die on. This fat phobia, body positivity, you know, people who work out are the worst. But here we are. Go hit the gym. Do not let people think you are a lazy socialist cuck. That's the message. Okay, that was fun. Wow. Those people are crazy. If you want to see more videos like that, make I sure you subscribe to the channel and like that video. If you want any more content, you can follow me on Instagram at I'm Brett Cooper.